So SENS Research Foundation is an organization designed to try to promote what we would call the rejuvenation biotechnology industry, addressing the underlying causes of uh, the underlying causes of age-related disease rather than trying to chase the pathologies of age-related disease because we think it is a more efficient way to do medicine and because we think it'll be a more effective way to do medicine and because there's a possibility that we might actually be able to remove some of these diseases so they're, they're no longer with us. We conquered smallpox. It's possible we could can conquer heart disease. It's possible we could conquer cancer. It'd be pretty hard. Cancer's a pretty difficult one. Uh, SENS Research Foundation has three basic components. We do research, we do education, and we do outreach. The outreach is happening right now at our Undoing Aging Conference here in Berlin that's happening right next door, uh, where we've been in researchers that we funded and researchers that collaborate with us and researchers from out in the community, and we try to mix them and their cool projects with uh, other collaborators and with investors who are getting more and more interested in this industry because they're seeing that there's some really positive answers here that you can't really answer in a more classical pharmaceutical biotech industry. The education program is uh, uh, historically has been student internships for summer interns. That's a very competitive program. We are now doing a post back program where we bring in people right after their baccalaureate and put them in labs either inside of our offices or places like Sanford Burn and Prebus and we'll fund them for a year and just allow them to sort of start a career in this industry as long as they're sort of in the field of rejuvenation biotech. And um, <clears throat> Uh, what have I mentioned? So the research, of course, <laughs> research, education and outreach. I'm doing them backwards. And the research programs are uh, both internal research programs like the mitochondrial program I was telling you about, uh, applied internal research programs like an atherosclerosis program that we're just about to launch into a small company uh, and external funding where we try to um, we try to leverage a little bit of money into a much larger project by bringing it to the best people and trying to get them interested in some aspect of this that isn't funded. We focus, I mean, we don't have a lot of money, so we focus basically in two areas. And we're not trying to do everything in research because there's, there's, there's seven basic kinds of damage that are accruing in your body that are a natural part of being alive, but there's you know, the subcomponents are probably hundreds that you're going to have to manage and then hundreds of age-related conditions that you want to try to address. So it's a very, very big project. We're talking about trying to build an industry. So the kinds of research we fund are basically twofold. Uh, first of all, the low-hanging fruit, where looking at it with this paradigm may actually lead you to an answer uh, that's kind of waiting to be discovered but hasn't because people aren't thinking about the problem in the right way. Atherosclerosis could be one of those. And the other is research projects that are addressing an area that there, we really can't see any research happening in right now. We're just trying to light a little spark, get a little fire going, so that people will get maybe a publication or two to get enough interest out there so that people will start to do grant funding applications and the like to try to get a, a field of research going. <laughs>